Welcome, 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 Collectors Queen here, back here again, another general intuitive energy read for the collective. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general message, so I'm going to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Also, keep in mind that time is fluid. We can be picking up on past, present, or future events here. And also, reverse the roles when necessary. All right, because there's no gender in tarot. So, on my pre shuffle, I got soul contract here, unfinished business, reconciliation, desire in the reverse, and distractions. So the energy I'm getting here, collective, is that somebody here feels like either you collective or your person has unfinished business with your ex okay I'm more so getting um, the energy of um, your person still having a desire a hidden desire for their ex okay while they're with you in a relationship with you a commitment with you hmm this is why you feel like in this relationship you're in with this person that you're feeling like you're un, you know this person doesn't desire you they did at first when you first got with this person okay and that's because they've been distracted by their ex okay so what else is here yeah they're still in a partnership with their ex is what I'm getting here um, they are not just thinking about reconciling with their ex they actually have they just haven't told you there's a a, a deep connection with them and their ex okay maybe this person that you're in a commitment with has kept you waiting put you on hold um, has been hot and cold with you and that's because they're being tempted to you know by their their ex okay feeling like there's some unfinished business there okay so right now your person is living a double life because they're with you but they're with their ex too okay so let's see what's here Holy Spirit please and thank you and they're keeping this a secret <laughs> They're being very secretive about this, okay? It's the energy I'm getting here. Hmm. I don't know. They're planning something. Whatever they're planning, they're keeping it a secret. Okay? It's the energy I'm getting here. So what's your Holy Spirit? But your person is living a double life here. Hmm. hmm. Keeping a lot of secrets from you, collective. This person is like a very narcissistic very arrogant you know all into themselves not thinking about how you feel okay they're into being passionate with this ex lover okay and with you too I mean you guys may get it on sometime but not as much as them and their ex okay just so you know all right this is something that may pop up out of the blue when you find this out here. What's your spirit? What's the collective need to know? What they need to be aware of. I do see that it's going to be some type of communication here. Okay. Um, your person may break the news to you. I want you to compromise or... Hmm. I don't know want you to be understanding of them wanting to reconcile with their ex or something here wow hmm. but this is what they've been hiding or keeping from you okay because they're looking for a positive outcome by reconciling with this ex here but right now it's a secret yeah it's the ex that they're choosing to be with and they're hoping that you're understanding with that okay hmm that's weird hang on 
Yeah, your person is definitely distracted by the ex. <laughs> it says right here. It says, yeah. Your person can't keep track of their lies. Okay, is what I'm getting here. And this toxic toxic connection with this ex here. Okay. So let's see. What else is your spirit? Please and thank you. What's collective needs to know? Hmm. So somebody could prepare for a new beginning. Somebody, you know, your true flame is coming in. Okay. And when you get with somebody new, because of how your current person is sneaking back around with their ex, okay, they're going to be in regret. They're going to really miss you. Okay. Because, I mean, it's okay. It's divine timing. So, hey, no worries here. Right? Like, this person is going to realize they lost, they lost the best thing that ever happened to them because they're not going to find anybody better than you. All right? 11-11. Your twin flame is on the way. So, the Most High God must be moving this person out your life anyway. And let's see why. For one, they're in a toxic connection. Going back to their ex. So, you know... And it's not good. It's not good. And they couldn't stop lying to you. Okay. Well. They're going to be mad because you ended it. Because they're going to see you with somebody new. <laughs> they're going to see you with somebody new. And that's when it's really going to hit them. Like a ton of bricks. Like hey. They fucked up. They really fucked up. So what's your spirit? What does my beautiful collective needs to know? Mm-hmm. Somebody has a two-faced friend or two-faced family member here. This person could be talking talking to your person and um, this two-faced friend or this two-faced family member could still be in contact with this karmic ex, okay, that they know your person and them are still seeing each other okay God is protecting you okay protecting you from this karmic ass and narcissist or this you know this karmic feminine or this karmic masculine all right take it how it resonates okay because of the way they were doing you behind the scenes here behind your back still seeing their ex you know reconciling with their ex here God is moving them out out of your way off your path they don't belong. They're not your twin flame. Your twin flame is about to come in, sweetie. You could be a divine masculine. Okay. If some of your family members are karmics, divine masculine. They know that your um, karmic feminine is still seeing their ex. Okay. What else is here? Their life is, is, is havoc and chaotic. Okay. This ex that they're going back to. Yeah. Your person. Or your soon to be ex. When you find this shit out. Doesn't know that this karmic's life. Their ex. Life is full of havoc and chaos. They don't know what they're walking into. But they chose that bullshit. You know. Let them eat it. What else is your spirit? What else does my divine collective need to know about these narcissist karmic assholes? They're selfish. Their selfish actions is what's going to get them into this, okay? Yeah. And wow, you won't believe this. This is how selfish and cynical your person is. A narcissist, okay? A snake, a deceitful, dark energy attachment. That's why a spirit is moving this person out of your life. Because, see, the Most High is protecting you. The Divine Spirit is protecting you. They plan to blame you for what happened. I mean, how narcissistic is that? I mean, wow. When they get over there with this ex that they have been sleeping around with, hooking back up with, okay. They could, they, it's going to change everything. Hmm. But the crazy part is, Collector, don't, don't even be surprised if if um, some of, of your um, 
karmic lovers, family members, and this ex that they went up, you know, back to. If they team up against you, you know, like you did something wrong. Okay. Hmm. But this is like, in a sense, um, it's like saying the Most High stepped in and, and got this person out of your way. This person was only in your way. Okay. You know, like a, like a bad spirit, like somebody who was who was put there on purpose to divert your attention to get you off your path you know keep you from connecting with your twin flame you know <laughs> there are haters out here that you know don't like to see people get with their twin flames and this is one of them the person that you were dealing with okay the most high removed them divine moved them off your path so your twin flame could come in okay they were only in your life to block your blessings all right what else is here? What else is here, Spirit? What do they need to know? Please and thank you. Yeah, those type of spirits don't play fair. Okay, those negative energy, dark attachments, those dark entities who don't want to see nobody happy because, you know, I mean, they live in a, a world of illusion here. Okay, and they don't play fair. Spirit said, don't trust them type of spirits. Trust your intuition. Because, see, your soul, your spirit will always tell you when something is wrong or when something doesn't feel right, when something doesn't seem right. You know, um, it'll always give you that, that, that nudge. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, maybe you need to take a second look. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're an earth angel. Okay. And you are collective. All right. This person was only on your path to block your blessings. What else is your spirit? Please and thank you. Divine feminine. Yeah. This person was only on your path to block your blessings. And spirit removed them. And I say I'll bring it to the most high. Wow, see what I'm saying here? You don't be knowing. Some of these people get with, get with you know, earth angels like yourself, collective, uh, divine feminine, divine masculine, because they know you guys are earth angels. They be jealous of your light because, you know, you outshine them. Your light irritates their demons. Okay? Wow. What else is here? What else is here? You're going to be much happier when when this person is off your path and out your life is what I'm getting here. Okay, so to be open to receiving is what I hear. Okay. Wow. Yep, your cheating lover is messing around with somebody, which is their ex, okay? And they don't know that their, their ex is planning to poison them. And see, that's how these dark energy attachments work. All they do is like seek out to destroy whoever, whatever they can destroy. Even if it means destroying each other because they're dark, you know, dark attachments. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not of the divine spirit. They're not from the light. The divine light. What's here? You're an earth angel. You're going to always be protected. Okay. Hmm. They're going to find out when they get over it that it's a lot of havoc and chaos and that this ex is crazy. Like, they haven't seen this side of this ex before. But they don't, you know, they're always, you know, showing part of who they are until they get you where they want you. And then they really spaz out on, you know, your person and really go in on them. Especially if they can trick them back over that easy because, like, it was like a easy pull for your person to want to go back towards this ex. Okay. Hmm. Your person didn't have any boundaries set up. <laughs> yeah. This karmic got a lot to say when it comes to you. The back and the man masculine. This karmic ex of your person's okay. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> you felt like, you know, for some of you, you felt like your um, person was seeing this karmic ex of theirs, their karmic ex partner. 
You see this type of spirit that you were dealing with? The one that you're getting rid of so your twin flame could come, come into your life? They plan to hurt you. Try to put you in some type of danger here. And that's why spirit moved them out off your path. Okay. What else, spirit? Before I close out. They may be posted up somewhere watching you. You know, wishing bad health on you. You know, they're reckless, you know, in their behavior. Yeah, they tried to, to, to hold you down, to keep you tied up. Okay, so they could cause some type of vandalism. I mean, that could be like ruining your life, ruining your things. You know what I'm saying? Tearing your shit up, you know, whatever. Like, wow. Spreading rumors, lies, and gossip about you but spirit stepped in and ordered this person to keep their distance away from you okay wow yeah because spirit is about to disgrace your person for cheating on you with their karmic eggs okay they're a karmic too all right so they're gonna see when those tables turn hmm Wow, they underestimated you, Divine Film, Divine Masculine. Wow. And whatever plan that these um, dark energies, negative energies had towards you or had planned for you because they thought they were sneaking, doing, getting away with some shit behind your back. Spirit said their plans is backfire. Okay. Or they're going to backfire. Okay. Yeah, because they were planning your demise here. All right. Mm, mm, mm. This cheater is going to be put to shame, going to be caught, and going to be embarrassed. Hmm. With God on your side, you're going to always win, baby, whoever you are. You're going to always win every battle and every war. What else is here for the collective? You're an earth angel. You know, your light shines bright. Okay? Your light irritates their demons. And this is why spirit is moving them out your way here. Okay? Wow. Anything else, spirit? <laughs> yeah, back, back to your person. You're going to recognize who they are because they cannot keep track of their lives. And this is who I'm talking about. This is who, whose energy that we're picking up on. The person that you're with now is cheating with their ex, okay? And they're wanting to cause conflict, okay? But whoever you are, your past and loved ones are watching over you, protecting you. You're an earth angel, okay? They don't even want you with this person, all right? Wow. <laughs> wow. They don't even want you with this person. Let's get some zodiac signs out here. Holy Spirit, what zodiac signs can we be picking up on? I mean, this is a general um, reading, so all signs are included, but let's see what signs we're picking up on the most, okay? Holy Spirit. Oh. Yeah, that's about to be exposed. <laughs> what signs are about to be exposed? With okay, these are the signs that are about to be exposed. We got a Scorpio that's about to be exposed here. That's a cheater. That's cheating on someone here in the collective. Our collective energy. What other sign is here? Okay. We have a Virgo here. They're about to be um, exposed. We have a Cancer here. They're about to be exposed. Let me see which ones feel. Collective. These are the ones that I'm going to read. I'm going to set these down. It's the ones that feel the ones that I'm going to read. These are the signs that are going to be exposed here. You have Sagittarius. They're going to be exposed. 
for cheating. We have Gemini here. They're going to be exposed for cheating. Libra. They're going to be exposed for cheating. We have Capricorn. They're about to be exposed for cheating. And we have Leo. They're going to be exposed for cheating. So we have eight zodiac signs out here. We're going to go over them once again. Hold on, Spirit, said this one more. Hang on. Oh, we have Aquarius. Spirit, we're going to let you come out. We got nine. Okay, that completes it. That's what Spirit said. That completes the zodiac signs here. They're going to be caught cheating. Okay. So we have to go over them again. There's nine. So these are the signs that are about to be exposed. Cheating here. I'm not saying the other signs aren't cheating. They just aren't caught yet. We have Sagittarius. Cancer. Virgo. Gemini. Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Leo. These are the signs collective. If you stopped on this video and you're with one of these signs and you have uh, your intuition is telling you that they're still cheating with their ex or they're seeing their ex or you got that gut feeling, okay? Yeah, those are the signs that are definitely cheating with their ex at this time. All right, and you're going to be finding out. Spirit is going to expose them, okay, because they their intentions were bad. Uh, divine feminine, divine masculine. And Spirit didn't want you to go through that. You're about to, your twin flame is on the way, 11-11. New beginnings for you. All right, Till next time. All in divine timing. Until next time, namaste for now. Peace.